Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use FileZilla, which is a free FTP client. Now bear in mind that this is just a basic tutorial. Before you can use FileZilla, you need to first download and install it, and then connect it to your website. And once you do so, you can start using it to manage your website files. You can feel free to check these tutorials to learn how. So this is what the FileZilla user interface looks like before you have connected your website. You can use this quick connect bar to connect your website by entering a domain name and login credentials. But if you're going to be using FileZilla to access your website files regularly, it's best to set up your website using the site manager. Like I said earlier, I've created a separate tutorial to show you how to do this. So once you set up your website, you can click this down arrow in the site manager button where you will see the websites that you set up. I've set up only one website. So you click on the website to connect it and you will see this dialog box pop up. Enter your password and then click OK. And it will then connect your website. In this section at the top, you'll see the connection status. In this section on the left, you'll see the files and folders from your computer. And in this section on the right, you'll see the files and folders on your website server. For example, I can navigate to the public HTML folder and down below, it will display all the files and folders for that specific folder. Now, for example, if I wanted to back up this wp-config file from my website server to my computer, I can navigate to the folder on my computer and then drag and drop the file. Alternatively, I can right-click on the file and then choose Download. Also, if I wanted to edit the wp-config file, I can right-click on it and choose View and Edit and then choose a program to edit the file, for example, Notepad, and then edit the file. Just be careful when editing files, it's always good to create a backup first. Similarly, you can transfer files from your computer to your website server. But these are pretty much some of the basics on how to use FileZilla. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.